Okay, welcome to Python for Java Coders. This is part seven, where we look at arrays in Java, and in Python they're called lists, sort of. Lists are kind of like array lists. They're more like array lists than they are like normal arrays in Java. So, but, so I'll talk about kind of how we do things in Python here. And even though I don't really have a, I didn't have a beginner lesson on our array list over here, I'll talk a little bit about lists and you'll kind of see the, the similarities between them. So anyway, let's get started. So you can see over here, again, in Java, everything has to be declared as a certain type. Python, it doesn't. So here we say scores equals new int three. The equivalent of that in Python would be something like this. Uh, we could put, can we put null or is it null? None, that's right, it's none in, Java, in Python. None, none, none. But since they're integers, we could just put zero comma zero comma zero. This would actually produce the exact same result because when we create a an array, excuse me, with no values, it automatically is assigned zero, zero, zero by default because it's an integer type, an int type. And then here you see where we've got scores. Now this part's actually the same. Score zero equals 85. Scores one, one equals 90. And scores two equals 100. And so if I went ahead and, actually what's nice, I can just go ahead and print scores here. And let's take a look. Actually, let's run this too and make sure this is still running. See what that, see what that gets us. And I'll go ahead and run this at the same time. They're in two different windows. Okay, so we got, okay, something went wrong there. This is still printing out the old thing. And unless I just zoomed up too far. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, no. Okay, let me go ahead and reload this. Copy that and reload it. Because it is stuck on my last, uh, it's stuck on my last uh, tutorial. And as it goes back to this setup, I'll fix that in a minute. But you see here how I've got 85, 90, and 100. So this looks very much so far like what we have in Java, which, which is nice. It makes the transition a little bit easier. But again, there are some significant differences as, as you'll see here in a minute. And let me go ahead and change the text size. Too large for that. Okay, and I get it back to where it was. All right, so now one thing though is if I had done this, if I hadn't put three zeros in there, I'm gonna get an error. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you see where it says list assignment index out of range. So there is no zero here. There's no zero element one element or element two. There's absolutely nothing. It's empty. Okay, so like an array list, what I could have done is I could do this now. Dot ooh, add. I think it's add. I haven't done this for a while actually. Um, let's try it. Ninety. And I'm, I'm probably getting it backwards. Let's see what happens. Yep, it's uh, add is for Java, append is for Python. Go ahead and run that. And hopefully we'll see. I'm gonna run that too. There's no add, I know, so we're waiting. I'm not sure if it's my internet slow or they're slow today. Could be a combination of both. Okay, so we got 85, 90. So that was basically the same thing as we had with score zero equals 85. And what this does, append just is just like with an array list uh, add in, in Java, it adds it to the end. Could not find class main. Oh, it should be main, there we go. That's where we went wrong. I think when I originally did this tutorial, I didn't do it in Repl.it, I did it in something else. So I just copied the code here, I should have tested that first. My apologies. Okay, there we go, so this is, this is what we want. So you can see here, we've got the same scores. Let's go ahead and do the printing like we have there. Now again, back to our loops. Okay, we're gonna use four i in range, and we're starting at zero, and we're going to the length of scores of course, minus one, it automatically increments, colon, we tabbed over four spaces, print, 
underscore and space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use format and colon and that. So dot format. So I want to use I and then scores I. And again, this is just building on everything we've looked at so far. So we should see score 0, 85, score 190, score 100. So again, same thing, same concepts, just done a little bit differently. Okay, now let's take a look here now. We want to calculate the average. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. Again, we don't need the double. It's Again, it's called a float in Python. Here we've got camel casing. We're going to use snake casing. Average score equals... I'm going to say scores. In this case, it's, it's the exact same code, basically. I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. So I'm going to be lazy. And that's nice. It's where you can, one of those rare cases where you can actually just copy and paste and it works. Don't need the semicolon. And I'm going to go ahead and print average score colon. And don't forget the braces dot format average score. Okay, and hopefully we will get the same result, 91.6 repeating. Okay, and interestingly, it is the exact same uh, result. I don't know, maybe there's a few, well, it looks about the same length, so interesting. Okay, now, let's go ahead and move on, try a few different things here. So, in this example, we've, we've pre-populated our array with some data. We can do the exact same thing here. So, heights equals. 150, 160, 170, and 180. And don't, that's a common on a dot. No semicolon. These brackets here, these square brackets, they tell you that this is a list. Okay, so it's it's just obvious from that that you know this is a list type. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do the same thing. So we say oops, for i in range. Again, we're starting at zero, going to the length of heights, incrementing by one because we want to do all of them. Print heights, and just yeah, we're basically just doing the same thing here. And again, the difference between this example and this example was here we started with an empty list and appended. Here we're starting with a pre-populated list. So let me go ahead and do that and that. And this is exactly the same thing we just did. Format i and Heights. I. Let's go ahead and run it. Make sure it's working. Okay, 0, 150, 160, 170. Fantastic. I forgot to put a little print statement there. Print. All right, moving on. Using the for each method, I can do it like this for height, <coughs> excuse me, in heights. And I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend this to my students that anytime you make a list that the variable name should be plural okay this will help you to write i think easier to maintain and easier to understand code and then when you do something like this it just makes logical sense for each height in heights okay, we can go ahead and print height let's go ahead and test that and there we go so let's go print Okay, moving on. Okay, so same thing here. Uh, we could do, oops, something went weird, got disconnected. So average height equals blah, 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 blah. Uh, I think I'm just, I don't know, do I even need to do that? Okay, tell you what, why don't we do this a little bit differently since it's really just a repeat of what we did up there. Or I guess I could copy it. But what I might wanna do is, I might wanna say total, equals zero for height in height total plus equals height and then I'm gonna say the average height again count uh, snake casing equals total divided by the length of heights so if we got four heights and then we'll go ahead and print average height colon, brackets, and dot format, uh, average height. You can see how just, you know, good good variable naming just makes your code easier to read and to understand. Let's see if we get 165. And that is what we wanted. 
And what's nice about this method is if we go in ahead and added somebody, we added a 190 centimeter person, and then the average is automatically updated. Everything is printed out as is. So you can see there's kind of a few similarities between how arrays work and how array lists and uh, lists in Python work. So I'd say basically overall that lists are a lot more like array lists in Python or in Java. So it's probably a bit more of a better comparison. But I just want to point out that there isn't really a difference in Python between lists and arrays and array lists. They're, they're, it's basically arrays and array lists wrapped up in one. But one thing I do want to show you is, and you can't do this in, in Java, I could say, I could say, I'm just going to say stuff. Uh, say, hmm, yeah, I'll say stuff. It's okay. I know it's not technically plural. Equals zero, uh, 2.2, Bob, and true. Okay. So you can see here we've got four different types of things. For thing in stuff, print thing. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see how it just went ahead and printed them out. So one thing that you'll see here in Python is that lists can have multiple different types of values in them. Whereas in Java, particularly in arrays, you don't see that at all. Um, again, remember arrays are limited to primitives for the most part, and array lists will allow you to do objects. Um, I actually know our arrays limited to Primitives. I'll have to check that one out. I forget now. Anywho, uh, so yeah, that's kind of an interesting one. So something to think about. Okay, moving right along. Hope to see you the next one. Take care.